Cueva Valdez anchorage to our stern. Boy, I should have brought cans of spinach. Hauling up that anchor by hand is a workout. Now I'm uh, pointing east, heading to Pelican Bay. Got some sea life off the uh, port side right now. Not sure what it is. Whoa, it's a seal. He's doing acrobatics. A uh, small boat came up as I was getting ready to depart and um, got a nice looking little boat. He popped his paddle board out, went ashore, checking out the uh, sea caves. It's a good day for it. I got sea light. Oh, there's some dolphins over there. So everybody's out checking it out. Now on to our next anchorage. There's a lot of fog that way. I'm sure hoping that uh, it's burning off with the day and not coming in. That's gonna be a bummer if it is. I'm getting ready to go. Uh, I'm getting ready to go uh, wing a wing again. Just going offshore a little bit so I can point. I checked the wind already. It's gonna be about 90, and I need to get a little further out to round this point without having to try to jive. Uh, yeah, there's enough wind to sail. I, I rigged up my uh, Jinniker, which it's labeled as a Reacher. It's like a 155, but it's made of like almost like spinnaker material. So um, hopefully that'll take better advantage of the light winds than my uh, big sail did yesterday. That's ladies and little ladies. Pretty cool little anchorage I'd like to check out sometime. I was trying to sell wing and wing. There's a huge fog bank creeping up on me, which is gonna be a bummer. So I'm dropping my head so I brought my main so in. Glad this is gonna be a short sail. I sailed in really crazy fog when I first learned to sail in Scotland. It was like 10 hours of pea soup fog, so. Here she comes. I'm gonna keep a compass course of 90. That'll keep me well off land. My actual course should be like 107 true, um, but I wanna stay well off land and then when uh, I get kind of uh, the anchorage on my beam, I will um, turn and like cruise in real slow. And if it feels too sketch, I'll just go offshore and hang out until this thing burns off. Um, so there you go. Sailing in this area is pretty known for fog and here she comes pretty quick, quicker than I'm moving, that's for sure. here only thing left to do is hold my compass course it's moving fast maybe it'll push through but uh, uh, I'm not counting on that so we'll see every day something new So far it's not too bad. You can still see the sun, which is good. Might get thicker as it comes in. Visibility is about a quarter mile at sea level. So feels like you're in the nothing, outer space. There's a rainbow sort of moon boat. Well, that passed quickly. I can't tell if that's like 
leftover or another fog bank, but I'm motoring 2,000 RPMs, doing about four knots. I should be there in half an hour. Hopefully, if it is another one, I can get in and drop the hook before that one gets here. But um, yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the visibility wasn't too bad. You could see the sun almost the whole time. So I got lucky. We'll see. I hope that one just came through that valley and is heading to the mainland, but time will tell. Now I got to point in. I came way offshore because I was nervous. Point in a bit and uh, try to get into this anchorage. So approaching Pelican Bay, which is between those two land masses. Pelican Bay. There we go. Hook is set. Pelican Bay. It's like crazy cliffs all around this. I'm a little freaked. We'll see. If I swing that way how close I get to that, but I um, can always bring it in if I get nervous. I'll just keep an eye on it for the first couple hours. But um, yeah, this should keep us protected from that swell. Should be a comfortable night. One of my friends on Instagram suggested here instead of prisoners because uh, prisoners were so bumpy. But uh, now I gotta get to bringing the main down and getting everything, get the uh, anchor alarm set so I can watch what's happening with that and um, check out this anchorage. There's another like fog bank in the distance that's cruising in that freaked me out. So uh, I ramped it up and got in quicker. Okay, time to put the boat to bed. Pretty warm out, but this is still going to be super freezing. Got to go for a dip. There's no one around. And that was enough. This is the landing area at Pelican Bay. It's actually just around the corner from the bay itself where the boat's anchored. See if I can get up, up this hill, see what it's all about. Pretty little valley. 
tons of caves everywhere. Lots of exploring possibilities. You know what's funny is on the boat, I feel like I'm right on top of these cliffs and these cliffs, and they're so far away. It's uh, which is good. I'd rather have that sort of misconception than the other way. But um, there she sits at, at bay, anchored out, looking beautiful. Mainland California over there. Look at that water, man. This place would be incredible for diving. Little sign about the island fox, which I hope I see some of. Whoa, I just found this crazy troll cave. We're gonna check it out right now. It's right behind me, but it's like pretty crazy looking. Try to not get killed by these boulders. I guess it would have been a good time to find out if uh, this island has snakes or not. Wow. Oh, here's part of an old shipwreck. Is that engine block? Man, those things must last a long time. Second one we've seen. There's the sea. <clears throat> Easy little trail uh, to hike up to the ledge to see where the boats are anchored. The uh, I think, or I guess there used to be some kind of resort here. I, I can't remember the time period, 30s maybe, or maybe later, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so there's like steps and stuff at that landing where I was, taking video and photos of the boat. Um, this little rocky shore, we'll see how it is getting out of here. It wasn't too bad landing, but um, it might be another story uh, getting out. What a treat, an island fox He's cruising up. Oh my God, he's so cute. So small. I'm so glad I finally get to see one. There he is, making his way.
you like sailing podcasts, please give a listen to a Stern View podcast. Uh, it's my new podcast. I started with this trip to Santa Cruz Island. Um, you can get it uh, by subscribing or downloading co- uh, episodes on iTunes. If you like it, please um, rate it and uh, give it a, uh, a review. Um, if you hate it, uh, maybe don't review it. Uh, the uh, podcast itself uh, takes a look at each of the anchorages I go to, and um, future seasons will follow the same order. Um, I will be spending two and a half weeks sailing in Sweden and Finland, so that's most likely going to be the uh, second season. Thanks for your support, and um, thanks for listening and watching the episodes. And uh, head over to iTunes and um, give us a listen.